I love overnight oats and I cannot lie, but I don't like dairy inside. So if you stick with me past minute three, I'll show you exactly why. That's my Sir Mix-a-Lot way of saying, stick with me in this video. I'll show you a simple, easy, and quick way to make dairy-free overnight oats today on The Wild. Well it is well. and on this channel we create video guides and product recommendations for your mind body and goals today we are going to go over how to make overnight oats and specifically how to make dairy free overnight oats because a lot of the recipes out there use milk or yogurt and we are going to eliminate both of those at least from a cow based option so let's get started if you want to see other videos like this that are health and wellness related then i would love if you hit that subscribe button because it helps the channel out and it helps me get this video out to more people. Let's get started because I wanna make this quick and easy way to make overnight oats. So here's my approach of making these overnight oats. I'm gonna start with something that I consider like the overnight oat base, which will be a dairy-free option of how to make overnight oats. You can manipulate that to even make it nut-free. I'll show you how to substitute certain ingredients to do that. But it's great if you meal prep or if you're sending your kids to school and you wanna make something simple, that's where a lot of people fail is it takes so long to prepare your food. This is something just quick and easy you can do at home. So let's get started. You need to start with one of these and really not one of these specifically. Uh, these I actually got at Target, I believe, and it was actually a pretty big fail because you'll see why. I can't really put the ingredients inside this jar very easily. So choose whatever you wish at your home. So you can do something like this. You can see it's just a plastic container. That's probably what I'll start making more of my overnight oats in. Or you can use, I don't know, a coffee mug and put saran wrap over it. It's your choice. But don't do something with a narrow opening like this because I think it'll make it a little bit harder. So what's the first thing we start with with overnight oats is the actual oats. Now if you want to make this gluten free, you're going to use this type of oatmeal. Let me give you a, a closer look at this. This is uh, gluten free oatmeal and I believe we got this at Whole Foods. It is called One Degree Organic Foods and they make this gluten-free option for sprouted rolled oats, which are gonna have a lot of great benefits for you. So you're gonna do one cup of oats into this jar. If you wanna just get the recipe and the measurements for everything, feel free to go to the description down below and right down there, I have all the ingredients that I use to make my base of overnight oats. And also I have the macros on a lot of these foods because you'll see it's a very complete meal. So you're just gonna use one cup. Some people say half of a cup, but I like to actually be full and not use this as a snack because we're gonna put all the ingredients you need for an entire meal in there. So you'll start with the oatmeal as your base. The next thing you put in, if you like it, is cinnamon. This is optional, but this is what I always start with with my base. This is just a normal jar right here. So we'll just, I say a teaspoon in the directions, but You can kind of eyeball that. The next thing I use is my secret ingredient, and I say it is a secret ingredient, but it's not much of a secret. It is sun butter. So I'm gonna do a scoop of that into this jar here. Now you don't wanna put this in the jar first or the bucket first, it's gonna to stick to the bottom. We're gonna mix this in, I'll show you how to do that. Next, so so far so good, right? We are halfway done, actually over halfway done. It's just one more thing to do before we end. Let me show you. Of course, I forget this in the refrigerator, but we are going to add macadamia milk all the way. You say how much? A good amount. All the way until all the oats are covered. Remember, these oats are gonna soak up whatever liquid you put in there. Uh, if you wanna make the nut-free version, you're gonna use rice milk instead of macadamia milk. Uh, but I do recommend using this if you can find it, if it's easy enough to get, because it's very low in calories. This has 40 calories for a serving, and we are done. That's it. I'm gonna put the lid on and put this in the, oh geez, oh Pete's. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and overnight. You don't actually have to do it overnight. You can really just do this for three hours, uh, but you really wanna get it soaked up because when we put it in the refrigerator, when you pull it out the next morning, then it's gonna look something like this. 
So this is a completed overnight oats. So the next day you can take this jar to work. Again, my opening at the top of the jar is very small, so make sure that you are not uh, buying something that's hard to eat out of the bottom. So I'll dump mine in the bowl if I'm having it at home and just simply go like this, shake it out. And that's your overnight oats, a nice cold and refreshing treat during the summertime, but it's even good to fill your belly in the wintertime. Uh, these are the other options. If you're a person that likes probiotic in your lunch or breakfast, then you can use this type of yogurt. This is a cashew yogurt. So again, dairy free, but not nut free. So if you're gonna send this to school with your kids, you have to make sure not to use that cashew yogurt and not to use the macadamia milk because they say it still will trigger uh, allergies in kids that are allergic to nuts. Um, what I do is after I pull it in the bowl, I mix it up and I enjoy. So I hope you guys learned a lot. So if you found this valuable, if you could like this video by hitting that thumbs up right under the video and the question of the day I'm going to present to you is what is your favorite thing to put in overnight oat oatmeal or what is your favorite thing to put in oatmeal because a lot of times you can use the exact same thing in your overnight concoctions. I like to put organic maple syrup in this and bananas. Those are my favorite. What are yours? Thank you for watching today. I appreciate your time and attention. It means the world to me and remember it is well. It is well. If you want to check out other wellness related videos on this channel, Pick from one of these two here. Thank you again for watching and subscribing, and we'll talk soon. Thanks.